It occurs to me that while I'm here, I'm going to be looking at a cutscene regardless, so I will be able to uh, check the guide because, yeah, I didn't do as much homework as I should have. That being said, we still need to make sure that, you know, we're, we're being somewhat efficient here and there. But if I can just look at this TV, even though I don't need to do it, I am using the UI suite mod, but uh, regardless, I want to do what I can. So... We'll go through this, we'll go through this mail really quickly, but I should really, because it's raining, I do need to course correct a little bit, not really, but we'll see what actually happens here, because I think what I want to do is actually sell the stuff I have right here. We have the fiberglass rod with us, but I did not take the thingy with me, so actually let me just sell all of this, minus the ore, obviously. Because the other goal is to try and get to three iron ore, but the problem is that I did not. And I should have been actually counting here and there. I might need to sell one of these two things. We'll see. Because I need to trigger... I don't think you can... Well, we're going to try some things, and if this day is not going to be actually as I thought, then it's not going to be as I thought. That being said, I because I'm on the Meadowlands farm, I do need to take care of my chickens. But otherwise, we will need to be doing the thing. So we're going to carry these things with us. I don't think we're going to take the hoe with us. But we do need to make a quick pit stop. And we'll see if me doing this causes any weird things to happen. I can just sell these eggs, if nothing else. Otherwise, we'll see what I do. I can eat them for energy as well. I don't think I want to do that. So... Yeah, I'm gonna head towards the town this or never mind, we're chopping trees. That's right, I need wood as well. So because we need to make a scarecrow. Which I might be able to do already, but let's just make sure. No, I cannot. Because my farming level did not increase. So I mean it will Later, but not yet. So, I forgot to grab a scythe as well. Yeah, I'm going really crazy. In the meanwhile, I am still making progress on my main save, but if this... If I have to... If I have to swerve here, then I will swerve. Now, I don't know exactly what that means. Whether that's continuing continuing off the save, making backups of the save, or doing otherwise, but... We are going to focus on catfish today. The problem is I left the furnace in the mountain lake. So I have to run to the lake, then run back to the river, which is going to be a lot of time waste, but I, I did leave the furnace. And I could just load a backup save, but at this point, let's let's deal with this mistake and see what I can do differently. So, let's drop everything off, save for the ore, and then we're going to try to make, we're going to try to make a tip, trip over to the mountain lake and run back and see how not efficient this is. Because it's a rainy day, we are pretty much going to be... I mean, if it were not raining today, I would be fishing at the mountain lake anyway. But the problem I had... So I didn't have it in my mind, in the back of my mind, to... To take the furnace with me, because I forgot it was going to rain today on spring 6th, year 1. So... And therefore, I think, we, I think the community center event cannot proc on a rainy day. Which, I mean, I, I walked right here. So what's gonna happen is, uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna end up losing time here because I should have immediately been able to go to the river. So I lost about at least three casts minimum, bare minimum. But while we're here, I guess we can just grab everything else too. So let me just see. I think I'll just take a chub for energy. I should just take everything really, just to be safe. But we'll see about that. So away, back away I go, and we're headed to the river to fish. So yeah, every every thirty every thirty in-game minutes, we'll assume I lose a cast, and we'll see what we can do. Oh my goodness! And if I can not, not run into things as well, I guess if we're gonna root like this, I might as well check the trash cans here. I don't care if I get seen by anyone because my friendship with everyone should be pretty much zero right now, so it won't matter. Uh, I can divert here too. If I'm gonna be losing time, I might as well do this. Well, eh, no, not really. I don't think I want to do that. So let me just do that. Oh, that means nothing. I mean, I can plant it somewhere, but I don't even know. I mean, I have a chest, I guess, so it doesn't hurt to hold on to it. Check this really quickly, then 
swerve back this way and we should be heading to the river. So, yeah, a little odd because, yeah, today it was supposed to unlock the community center, but because it's raining, I assume it won't trigger. So, with that said, we're headed over towards the river here to fish. And we should be perfectly fine. I did this on accident, so... And I, let me just store everything here. I don't have enough to smelt anything, so here we are. The income increase from catfish will be more than enough, so... I think it would, it's still worth the time to run all the way here to fish because of catfish. If not, I'd be interested to know why that may or may not be. Assuming we catch a lot of catfish, of course, but that'll depend on RNG as well. So I think I can just hold on to the button and we'll be fine fishing. Max cast would help, I assume. But again, if, it, if, if I get any piece of information wrong, please let me know. If it's, yeah, if it, I am indeed incorrect. But otherwise, yeah, other, otherwise this is going to be the rest of the day. Preferably we want to get to five iron bars, but if that doesn't happen, it, it simply doesn't happen. Theoretically speaking, I mean, you can be luckier to get, you know, to buy enough iron ore to do things, but again, that's not what happened today. So just catching this catfish will be a lot better for me. If I can't get to the iron, or if I can't upgrade to the iron pickaxe ASAP, I assume bad things can happen, but again, it all depends on RNG and on me, of course, but at fishing level 6 or 7, I really shouldn't be missing, missing catfish. If you're missing catfish at 6 and 7, practice the fishing minigame more. That's the standard I hold to myself as well. But I think I, yeah, I am, I did start to stay on fishing level 7. So, we should be... There's no really good reason why I should be missing fish here. Now, perfecting fish is a whole different story, but... Not that different. But hey. So this is going to be interesting because I need I still need to proc the community center community center event to start that off. Now, I, I don't assume it's that bad, but again, I don't know everything there is in a min-max run, so... If something is really, really bad, either someone's going to tell me or I'm going to figure out myself because, boy, would it be really bad. So because river jellies, river jellies, unlike the ocean jellies, don't give you a level in fishing, so I don't need to eat them immediately. They can be sold, but since we're fishing in the river on a rainy day anyway, catfish is going to be our moneymaker, so I should be free to eat the jelly in place of chubs, I guess. So as we fish up another, so as we fish up another catfish, if OBS doesn't want to drop my mic audio, this should be this should this. I'm planning for this to be one of two videos coming out in the same day. So if you're listening to this, know that uh, unless something happens, like you're not subscribed to the channel, so you wouldn't get a notification. But just know, a second video should be out within six to ten hours of this video. If not, well, I probably would have made a post about it somewhere. Either here on this platform in the community page, or I don't actually use Twitter as often, or sorry, X now, but, you know, I'll do what I can, because Day 7 is going to be interesting as well, uh, in terms of running around doing stuff. Now, how tight the time schedule is going to be, uh, is going to depend, but the most important part efficiency-wise is getting five iron bars, which I do not think is happening. Oh my goodness, I might lose this. <gasps> no! So yeah, no good reason to lose catfish here, but I'm me, so hey. Even if I wanted to course correct, I don't think I'd be able to buy enough iron ore, so what, would, what I would do is run off to Clint's to buy iron ore. But I don't even have enough gold to do that anyway, because I need to make a pit stop to Willy's to sell fish. And uh, period, that's, that's all I can do. Again, I'm thinking of ways to make this efficient. The end goal, really, if I were to make this series any longer than it is now, is to get to Ginger Island in fall, if possible. But, again, that depends on mainly my my performance on this save. Otherwise, if it's actually as tighter than it looks, then uh, time schedule-wise, uh, unlocking Ginger Island in winter isn't so bad, from what I hear. Year one, anyway. 
Normally, you're supposed to unlock Ginger Island in your second year, uh, or it's to be expected of casual play, but as I focus on not losing any more catfish, again, that depends on player performance and to some extent RNG. Some people have experienced trouble getting red cabbage seeds. Actually, I would like to rectify a statement that I made in my trying to play video, which was that I got red cabbage seeds pretty much on the desert festival. Oh my goodness, I thought that I that something was hooked for some reason. But actually, I got red cabbage seeds before that, and they mainly come from your skull cavern runs, assuming you're, you know, getting rid of things that are in your way, enemy-wise. But at the same time, you know, cabbage seeds will likely drop. Uh, and they're not that likely, but if you do, if you visit the skull caverns as often as the min-max guide by uh, min-max guide tells you to, then you should be able to get red cabbage seeds by the end of year one. Is what I'm trying to say. Also, something I forgot to note is that, yes, obviously the min-max guide was more than a few people contributed to it, and there are, I think, two to three main contributors who helped, so it's not just by one person, exactly. And it's obviously the accumulated knowledge of several people who play Stardew Valley in challenging ways, speedrun or otherwise, so... Min-max, speedrun or otherwise, but hey. It's gonna happen for every game. Stardew Valley, yeah, you're supposed to take it casual, go kinda slow, but... There, that doesn't mean you can't try to be efficient. Now, how efficient you want to be is up to the player themselves, you, me, or otherwise. But just know, people will try to optimize where they where things exist. That being said, different categories do exist, and what people allow and what they don't allow is still a topic for good debate, not in any negative form. It is interesting to talk about. But as I mentioned in an earlier episode, if you're not going to go back and watch the episodes, know that one of the things I talked about was the topic of using any mods at all, really, depending. But there is a kind of general, not a generalized, I will say that some people consider some things okay to you do and not. Sometimes they that includes bugs, sometimes that includes the use of certain mods, whether it's quality of life or actually they change the, they can change your gameplay in some way. Usually that's on the borderline, but things like the UI info suite, again, I've talked about it. It's that I understand from a player standpoint, being able to being able to remember everything off the top of your head, there is a kind of ability in that. Some people might not call it skill. Uh, I could talk about that. That's an off topic thing, kind of tangent to this, but it is there is a, there is an ability for human beings in terms of remembering things like how much uh, gold, silver, base catfish sells for, so on and so forth, in little tidbits of information that altogether a human being or player can remember, and therefore, you know, using a mod therefore makes that easier. But that being said, the counter-argument there for players who are experienced is that, well, you're gonna learn this information anyways, and that's, and that's not the most interesting part of trying to do a min-max run. There's one other thing, but let me just complete the thought. Is that, yeah, forgetting what a piece of information is, is usually to more players less exciting than figuring out what to do with a certain config. I should, have, I should have actually gotten for that treasure chest. Then figuring out what to do given the circumstances that RNG has put forth. Like, it's raining day 6 for me on spring 6. Some, pe uh, some people won't, it won't be raining on spring 6. And so you won't be able to proc the community center event. But, again... Things like that are more interesting than, say, remembering what the price of iron ore is so that you can calculate how much iron ore you need if you can buy more iron ore with whatever strat you're using. Not just the min-max guide, but you get what I mean at this point. Little tidbits of information and whether or not a player can remember them is, from what I see, usually not as interesting to, you know, make mistakes over than figuring out how someone is changing their run based on the circumstances put forth by RNG or otherwise. But that being said, yes, I do understand. Like, if I were to seriously try and do a min-max challenge, I would probably not use any mods at all. At least on that front. And there are talks about things like being able to use certain animation skips, certain bugs that do affect gameplay to, to at least some extent. But again, those are, those are different things that people can debate on. I do not have the most knowledge. I can still give my opinion on what I believe based on, you know, my understanding as a player or otherwise. 
but yeah, no, else, otherwise nothing else is happening here. We're literally just fishing until the very end of, until uh, pretty much near 1 a.m. I'm not going to, I'm going to play it safe and actually leave at around 12.40 a.m. But we'll see what happens. But on the topic of skill, quote unquote, in terms of, it is someone, is someone's ability to remember every, a, a lots of pieces of information considered a definition of the word skill, I think is a very, something that I think can be very dangerous because some people can find it, and for good reason, they find it insulting that basically memorization is not considered skill, which, again, I, I, I consider it, if you had asked me and I had, whether I were to say yes or no, I'd have to say yes, because, well, the human, yeah, it's not the physical definition of, you know, hand-eye coordination or, you know, being able to maneuver your body in a way, or in the case of video games, you know, literally hand-eye coordination, moving your fingers. It's not skill in that way, but I think it is still, it is still, you know, you can, I gauge it based on a quantity, so skill, how much does someone remember? I consider that, you know, part of the definition of skill. There is a quantity of how much you can remember and how much you don't, and some people take that for granted for good reason. I don't, I don't, I wouldn't really argue that, but I do... What do I want to say? What's how, what's the way I want to word this so I can be a bit more... Oh my goodness, let me not lose this fish. Hold on. Ah, please! Go down, go down, go down, go down, go down, go back up, go back up, go back up. Ah. <laughs> Trying to predict... No! Please. This isn't catfish, right? This isn't some something weird. I think the catfish is the hardest thing here. Yeah, it is. But, oh yeah, on the topic of skill, I usually think about it as a quantifier. So if something can be quantified, I would call it skill. Now, there are exceptions here and there. There are always going to be exceptions no matter what you say. So, But if you can present me with, an, with a good argument, either supporting or against, then I will change my view. I'm not inflexible in that way. I don't think I am. But anywho. So yeah. I, I do think memorization, being able to memorize... Pretty much someone who memorizes every little thing about Stardew Valley, information-wise, I think is... a can be described as someone's skill in Stardew Valley. But if you disagree, I can I can see someone's point. It's just that I would not necessarily agree unless you persuade me. I will say though, I oftentimes I am easily persuaded, but don't confuse that for me being able to see where you're coming from. So yeah. I need to actually focus on storing stuff because I, I should be storing things. I have way too many slots filled, so... Yeah. I think the goal... Yeah, we want to hit at least 5,000, but obviously I have not been able to make five iron bars, so... Again, the guide isn't a step-by-step -step process. It's nice if you're able to follow the guide completely. It's just that... I didn't need to walk this far. It's just that... Being able to still follow the guide to a good extent probably puts you in good form to, well, do the objectives that you're looking out for. Mostly as described by the guide, but also... Also, again, like I said, reaching Ginger Island in year one, which is the most important. If anything, no later than winter, but that depends. If nothing else... The bare minimum that you can achieve by trying to play like this is that you do get a you do unlock a lot of things very very early. But this is without me even entering the mine, so mine RNG is going to be a heck of a thing for me. As long along with you know picking up skill sets or things that I should probably be paying attention to, but that's again that's something else to think about entirely. Do I actually want to switch this? I think I just want to switch this for the moment, and we'll see how much more efficient we are. I mean, five bait should be more of a... It should at least give me another cast. But again, this is keeping in mind that I wasted the first part of this day grabbing the furnace, which turns out I'm not even using a lot, so... Maybe I shouldn't have even gone to pick it up. That being said, I'm looking at our luck because I did forget what luck... what daily luck I had. There are two types of luck from what I understand. There's daily luck and then the uh, another personalized luck value. Yeah, so I do need to use the info suite here, because <laughs> I completely forgot. So one day until the copper pickaxe is upgraded, I mean, I could just remember that. And actually, I should talk about that a bit more, because there are... That is something that's mentioned, and some people might not know what I was talking about, in talking about in terms of things that are allowed by... You know, if you're really trying to do a challenge run and, you know, be... 
not validated, but I'm not thinking of the right word, to, you know, register a run, say you're doing a speed run. Certain things are allowed and not allowed. One of the things that are... The things that are allowed is usually most of the UI suite. One of the very big things that the UI suite is that is not allowed by using the UI info suite is the bulletin board, because you can accept quests from the bulletin board through the mod if I were to just exit my menu now, which obviously does not look good otherwise, because you, without the mod, you would have to run all the way to town to accept quests, but obviously that's not the case with the mod. But otherwise, there are a lot of other things that you can do with the mod that is argued for that you can still use. For example, seeing your luck, seeing how many days until a tool is upgraded, because the argument there, checking the calendar, because essentially you can write things down in real life and then just remember them. Which again, kind of runs tangent to the build, again, a player's ability to remember everything in Stardew Valley information-wise, but, you know, this in this particular instance, Again, as I said before, I assume that, you know, it's not the most interesting thing to see someone make a mistake because they forgot what the price of a gold quality chub is compared to, you know, hey, they accidentally fat fingered a button while fishing and they missed a cast and maybe that was the cast that made the difference. So they have to course correct the next day or somewhat. Something like that. Also, Rip, I'm not going to get rest in peace me. I'm not going to get even five iron ore. Unless this chest contains it. I did miss a chest early on too, so... Yeah, we're gonna find out. What happens today? Yeah, but as I continue doing this, I mean, I might, I guess I might as well put that in the furnace, but... I really wanted iron ore, we're probably not gonna get it. So all things considered, even though I was quote-unquote lucky on day one, I didn't even have enough iron ore to... Make five iron bars for tomorrow, which I'm wondering how that's treated now. I mean, yeah, I, either someone's going to tell or someone's going to make a comment on it or I'm going to look it up later on and figure out how people are getting five iron bars before day seven. Because I must either I'm missing something or I it's it is a matter of luck, but regardless. And I'm sure there are things I could have optimized, like actually selling different things or selling more things than I could have. But at that point, I mean, uh, what I mean by that is, like, definite yes, I should have done. Not not things that are based on prediction. Like, for example, I could sell... Maybe I could could have sold something, but then I would have needed to eat chubs for energy. So I sort of not sold the chubs. Something like that. That is more, I think, a prediction type of play or of strategy. But, you know. That being said, I am going to get a lot of gold... The question is, will I even get enough iron ore? Can I please? Oh my goodness. This catfish does not want to co cooperate. 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 But let me see here. So I have about 10 catfish right now. So I have at least 4,000 gold. And if I sell the rest of the fish that I currently have, I probably definitely break 5,000. So maybe I can buy the iron. I forgot how much iron ore sells for. Haha. <laughs> I could I could actually look that up on the side. You know what? I'm going to look that up on the side. <laughs> but that's what I mean by, like, again, if I were doing it for myself, I would try to remember these things. Otherwise, I'd just play with the cards I'm given. Yeah, I know it's getting late. I'm still fishing, though. I have to fish. Although I will need to leave soon. Oh my goodness, please. So I probably have one good cast left. I don't know how much energy I have, actually. Oh, 16. Okay, I have more. I should have more than enough. I am full on inventory, though. So I guess this algae is going to go... Or the row is going to go bye-bye. But we'll see. So yeah, I'm not going to risk it. I'm just going to run. Because this feels like a good fishing day to me. I mean, it could have been better. Obviously, I missed a catfish. But... Let me just do some strategize, 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 to that, strategize right now. Because I am missing about 11 iron ore. Because with 11 iron ore, I can have 15 ore to smelt or five. And then... Hmm. And I'm pretty sure it's 150... I'm going to look right here. Yeah, it's 150 gold for... 
one iron ore, which I probably actually don't have enough of. So this gets me 5,000, and you need 5,000 to upgrade your pickaxe to copper. The unfortunate part is that I do not have enough. I think I... Do I want to take... What do I take with me, assumably? So... Go home. I'll sell my ship however much. Give you 5,000 plus how much gold to buy up to 25 gold ore, which I will not be able to buy anyway because I'm so poor right now. But the most important part is I get 11 iron ore, which will be about 1,650 gold. We'll have enough for that is the question. Because I don't need more gold than that right now, right? No, it doesn't seem so. So let's just see what is the highest value thing I have. I, I, what are the highest value things I have here? Don't think I need any copper ore for the moment, question mark. I do need to take the furnace back with me, so I need to save at least one slot. I guess might as well just take all of that. I'm going to be taking it. But I guess these chubs, these chefs. Okay, so I'll have enough to buy 11 iron ore. The question is, what else do I take with me? I guess going for value, really. So this, chub, shad, and then we, we take the furnace with us. Oh my goodness, please. Actually, we have this iron bar, so I need to store something else. I guess the shad. But we need to take this furnace with us because we don't know where we're going to be fishing next. So if nothing else, this furnace needs to go with me to the mine when I go. Now, what I don't want to do is run up here and then find out I get stuck. But we'll find out, won't we? So after, yeah, after selling, I should immediately be passing out. But, I mean, if I can make it to bed, I really shouldn't be making it to bed. I think I leveled up, right? Well, I guess we're about to find out. Otherwise, I'm going to run back and forth and see if I can sell anything. But, yeah, catfish for sure. Shub, blep, blep. I could save on those, but just to be safe, I'm going to sell at least three of them. I'm going to keep one for energy purposes. Don't think I need it, though. But otherwise, yeah, we take the scythe out, store everything, literally everything. And then if we can find any weeds, we'll just cut anything, any weeds out, uh, any weeds down. Don't think there's really much, though. Yeah, I'm not even finding anything. So we're going to pass out in a hot moment. But that'll be just fine. Eh, yeah, cut a few weeds down, but it's fine. Oh, and that will be the end of day six. So, yeah, like I said, if please subscribe to the channel if you want to support me at any length. We got level two foraging. We're finally, we're level eight fishing, and I don't think we're level two farming, so we can't actually make a scarecrow. But that's not what the quest is asking for, so I guess for the metal lance farm, we're fine. Also, apparently I sold more than I thought, but... Anywho... As we get to as we get to day seven, I will leave you on this and we'll go back to the screen and be at the end screen. So without further ado, yep, thank you for watching and I will see you when I see you. I, the next video should be coming out within six to ten hours. Otherwise, if you're not subscribed to the channel, just know that if you don't see it appear, it's because mistakes have been made in real life. But thank you for watching. I'll see you later. Bye.